My, uh, my hair is kind of a reflection of my mental state in the sense that, like, you know, like, this, this amount of hair, you kind of might associate with someone who's, uh, who's, like, a little, I don't know, a little odd, a little eccentric because of the, just the way their hair is. Um, right now, there's this. There's this little thing. It's really bothering me because my hairline's receding. And, you know, I never liked my hair. But now that it's going away, I'm like, come back, you know? Because it's just, there's always been, like, just too much of it. My haircuts are expensive. I don't know how to cut my own hair. I don't have the willpower to learn. But anyway, yes, my hairline, my hairline is uh, receding. And my hair cut, like, the amount of hair I have is kind of indicative of the whole my mental state thing. Because it's like, you know, um, I have too much hair sometimes. I'm not being honest with you. Okay. Um, do you see the amount of hair I have? Right now, I had a point to this video, and it's gonna go somewhere, I swear to God. Um, well, like... There's... It's like, kind of to the point where I could pass it off as being a fine amount of hair if I really wanted to. I just don't feel like I should. What do you what do you associate with curly haired people? Is it like is it insanity? Because that's kind of what I associate with myself when I when my hair is crazier. But it's not like a bad kind of crazy. It's more like um, the kind of crazy where you're glad you're crazy, like you're accepting of the fact that you're insane. Because you're like you see the benefit of being crazy, you know, like being a crazy person. Right now, my mind state seems ambiguous. Like, I can't really figure out why I'm doing what I'm doing, or where I am, or who I am. Blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. No, maybe you don't. Maybe I should explain myself better. Right now, my mental state kind of feels like my hair, in the sense that it's going all over the place, not really sticking to a pattern, not really combed. I just kind of wake up, and it's existing like this. And I don't know, maybe I thought, if I got my hair cut, then this whole receding hairline thing would be less of a deal. Maybe. I feel as if, personally, that the reason my hairline's receding is because I'm stressed all the time. And the fact that my hairline's receding is making me more stressed. So it's quite a vicious cycle, if you think about it. And uh, I realize this is a pretty common thing. And I have enough things that make me stressed without this really being an issue I think about that often. I'm just thinking about it more now. See, my, my, my issue here is that, um, that the more stressed I get, the more my hairline recedes. The more my hairline recedes, the more stressed I get. But that's not really why I'm stressed. I could be bald and I would still be, you know, uh, unhappy. And I could be have a full head of hair and I would still be unhappy. It's not really about that. It's about some way I'm looking at the world. My perspective on the planet is kind of like my perspective on my hair. I keep trying to make this metaphor work. It's not working. No, it is working. Just bear with me for a second. The hair is abstraction. It's going off here and here and here and here. It doesn't really seem to have a point to it. I would like my life to have a point, I think. Like, not a widow's peak of a point, but, um, like, <laughs> something more pointed than that, I guess. Uh, and so when my hair is like this and my thoughts are like this, I can't really focus on what it is that I need to do because I don't know what it is that I need to do. Do I stay at home and do I make another video? Do I go on a date? Do I go on another date? Do I even care about dates if I'm trying to be a creative person who has a clear and defined goal for himself and something he wants to make of himself? Do I, do I bother making myself well-rounded? And how am I supposed to make myself anything other than well-rounded when my thoughts are easily distracted by things? Some days I look at myself and I feel somewhat attractive, but most days I don't. This, my friends, is one of these days. The, the latter of the two that I listed. I've never found myself attractive. Um, I've always looked at myself in like the camera, the mirror, always, basically, since I was like 14, 13. Ever since I could really make a judgment about someone's appearance, my judgment of myself was negative. But that's like just physical appearance. I mean, it also extends to every other aspect of judgments on myself. 
Anyways, enough enough of this this talking. Haircut time. Finally, I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>